Treated lumber is a popular building material that plays a key role in the construction of many of our structures in the Pacific Northwest. Our good friend Dennis McWhirter is an expert on pressure treated wood with nearly three decades of experience in the industry. In this series, Dennis provides answers to some common questions and reminds us why treated lumber is one of the best things we can do to help preserve our greatest renewable resource. The uh, pressure treating process is a pretty simple process. Um, you just basically you put the chemical into the cell structure of the wood. Once it's into the cell structure of the wood, it's leach resistant and it just, you know, it really doesn't come out. The whole treating process itself, um, be, depending on what we're trying to do, can it take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. It, uh, it goes into what we call a retort, which is a big round cylinder. It's a six foot tube. We have uh, two 80 foot tubes and two 120 foot tubes. So we push them in a kind of a rail car type system that they go into the tube. It creates initial vacuum, takes all the air out of the, out of the tube, pulls all the air out of the cell structure, and then we flood the tube with chemical. Okay, we use 160 pounds of pressure to drive the chemical into the cell structure wood. So you can kind of figure that it's a round tube and all this pressure is coming in and it's driving towards towards the center is really how it works. So that's the way we can you know get the chemical all the way into the wood. Now the wood has to sit on our drip pad um, until it quits dripping. So what that means until the chemical has affixed to the cell structure of the wood. We can't move the wood off the drip pad. In the summertime, that'll probably take about 48 hours for that whole process to kind of cure and, and the wood to dry. Um, in the wintertime, we're here in the Northwest, it gets pretty wet, it uh, gets pretty cold. That can take anywhere from one to two weeks. So it's, it's quite an extensive process. 